böyle bir film çekmeye nasıl karar verdin? It's you know I always base the decisions that uh, that I make me if if I read something that has a, a, an effect on me you know I call it the goosebump effect on me you know I call it the goosebump factor you know if I find myself having a visceral experience with the script and um, there was something extra with this one where not only I was having the visceral experience but I also I just had a deep feeling that I wanted to be responsible for it I wanted to be the person that brought it to life and the big thing that happened with me is that there was in the script, you know, Gallipoli to Australia, Trinacoli to Australia, is a, it's a very um, significant iconographic cultural moment. It's, it's partially, you know, uh, seen as when Australia really becomes a nation. Um, but I was kind of embarrassed to realize as I was reading the script that I'd never really taken a Turkish point of view. And that's what this script had in it, you know, so it had a balance of the story. So. That's what made it more compelling. Evet aslında e, hani bizim açımızdan da bakmış olması demin de zaten konuştuk e, ve etkilenmiş olması çok önemli. E, sonuçta e, filmi çeken e, kendisi hmm. iki yönetmenlik denemesi biliyorsunuz. E, o filmi de zaten çektikten sonra görüyoruz ki zaten e, ortadan bir bakış sergilemiş. E, sonuçta savaş çok kötü bir şey. E, hiçbirimiz savaşı istemiyoruz ve sevmiyoruz. Avustralya için de Çanakkale çok çok önemli e, bildiğim kadarıyla. Sen de e, Yeni Zelandalısın. Ama e, Avustralya'da yaşadın galiba. Yeah, I was, I was born in New Zealand, but I, I got to Australia first when I was four. And then uh, I lived in New Zealand again between 13 and 21. And then I moved back to Australia. 